How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. If you are looking to build a solid foundation of lower body and core strength and stability, you cannot look past the front squat. But for some people, this exercise is a no-go because as they descend into a squat, instead of feeling quads, core, and glutes, their wrists are in agony. What is this pain caused by and how can you get rid of it for good. I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Even though the pain is coming from your wrist, the problem actually has to do very little with that area. In most cases, it is related to poor setup prior to initiating the lift. This setup is called front rack position, where the bar is resting on your collarbone, palms are facing up, elbows are pointed forward, core is engaged, and the barbell is gently touching your throat. Those who struggle to get into or hold this position typically have significant limitations with their shoulder mobility. And when this upper body mobility is insufficient, your body must find another way to compensate and it does so by extending the wrists by more than what is necessary. It is this that causes the discomfort and it becomes even more uncomfortable as you descend into the squat if your thoracic spine falls forward. And this is typically a symptom of poor spine mobility. Simply put, the wrist pain that you're feeling during front rack position is very likely a symptom of poor shoulder and spine mobility. So how do you fix this? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym, or in the comfort of your own home. There are many stretches and mobility drills you can do to strengthen this position. Based on my experience, I find these three to be the most effective. First is the banded front rack stretch. Find a band and tie it to an overhead bar. Place your hand facing up into the loop, apply pressure downwards, grab the band, and rotate 180 degrees into this position. If done correctly, you should feel a deep stretch in your chest and lats on the working side. A variation of this stretch with added tricep work can also be done by using your body weight to anchor the band down. Second is the modified wheel. This stretch is adopted from the famous yoga pose, but it's unlikely you'll be able to get into this position if you've never done it before. To scale, add some support under your back or prop your feet up on something taller and then push your chest towards the sky and straighten your arms as much as possible. If this still doesn't work, you can always just stick with hip movement to start until your body gets used to it. The third and final drill I call the offering pose. On your knees, grab a stick, palms facing up, elbows at 90 degrees, and try to drive your chest and head through your shoulders. Similar to the banded stretch, this drill targets deep shoulder and chest muscles, which are key to an effective front rack position. Make sure after performing each move, you retest your front rack position. That way you know which drills are working so you can focus your efforts appropriately. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.